I put up a question tag asking how many of you would be interested in hearing more about my IVF journey because a lot of you know that my husband and I have started this IVF journey. What that means is I we, we are undecided still even after our appointment today whether or not we're going to be um, moving forward with the process. far back I want to go but I'm just gonna do it and then we can cut it and edit it might where to start well I'm so excited to have you in my living room and I'm so thrilled to be doing this video and sharing my pregnancy story with you this has been on my mind for such a long time and I've intended to make this video and share this story with you and just really haven't had a chance to do it yet until today, which is so crazy because tomorrow I will be at the 20 week mark, which means I'm halfway through my pregnancy already, which is so crazy. It's so crazy. I feel like it's gonna come, the second half is gonna come fast and furious. The baby is gonna come fast and furious. If you watched my last YouTube vlog and then partway through the meditation, I felt a flutter. <gasps> and I was like, whoa. You will have gotten the news that I'm pregnant. So first, let's talk about the pregnancy. I haven't shared that here on YouTube until then. I did share it on Instagram. And um, I just kind of assume that a lot of you guys are over on Instagram as well and that you already knew the news. Um, but here it is. I'm pregnant. I am 20 weeks along and I'm going to take this opportunity to share my pregnancy story with you. So a lot of you know, and I've been really open about going through a few miscarriages. It's been three in total. Where I am today, looking back on the last few years of my life and having experienced those miscarriages, I a thousand percent think that it was due to stress and timing. I'm a big believer that you trust the timing of your life and things happen when they're supposed to and when the time is right. But definitely having been so stressed and extremely career focused, not that being career focused is bad or anything like that, I definitely don't wanna say that, but wearing a lot of hats and being stressed so much I think is the reason why I've had such a hard time getting pregnant and staying pregnant. I was actually just watching one of my older YouTube videos. It's from about four or five years ago and it's called Motherhood. And I was sharing openly at that time, so four or five years ago, what would motherhood look like for me? I really think that for women, especially if you wanna have a family and all that stuff, it's like a whole nother dimension that you have to like think about and consider. And I actually wanna do a whole video on that and just talk about like my thoughts in the moment about where I'm at with wanting to have a family and wanting to juggle a business at the same time because you go through ebbs and flows of how aggressively you can push. It's a super scary feeling when you have worked so hard to build it. Mm -hmm. And there's no like, there's no mat leave for me where I'm just like gonna step away for however many months and then I'm guaranteed to walk right back into that role. Like that doesn't exist in my position. I was really open with, you know, trying to build my business, build my team, garner clients, get press, all of the things that I was trying to do and accomplish. And at the time I was sharing really openly about how I couldn't imagine then stepping back and having a baby when I was right in the midst of building something. Like what would that look like? What would stepping back look like? Whether that was for six months or a year or two years, like how do you juggle building a business and having a baby at the same time? So since then, 
I want to say about three-ish years ago, the first time my husband and I got pregnant, we were renovating our townhouse. This is day one of demo. I've been here for a couple of hours. I'm just gonna take off, go back to the office, get on with my day. These guys are in full swing with demo already, which is so exciting. We weren't even living here at the time. We were living in an apartment downtown and I got pregnant in the midst of this renovation. And it was a total surprise. I wasn't expecting it at all. We weren't expecting it. And it was really exciting, but very shortly after discovering I was pregnant, so it was maybe only four weeks into the pregnancy, I miscarried. So it wasn't really long enough to like celebrate the pregnancy or get really excited about this. It, it sort of happened really quickly. After that first miscarriage, it took Chris and I quite a long time to get pregnant again. And we were trying to get pregnant without any luck so I started pursuing IVF for the first time. In that process of going to IVF and starting to talk to the doctors and doing blood work and getting all of our tests done, I ended up getting pregnant for a second time, which was back in December of 2019. So that's almost two years ago. Again, it was a short pregnancy, made it only about six weeks before my second miscarriage, which, was so much more disappointing than the first one. We kept trying and I got pregnant again shortly after, um, which was really at the beginning of COVID in March-ish of 2020. This time I had made it 10 weeks and I was right at the point where I was getting excited to start telling people I was at that point at 10 weeks where my clothes weren't fitting properly i was like really feeling this pregnancy and we were really excited because this pandemic had just hit everything was shutting down we were slowing down my business was slowing down i wasn't actually even sure at that time what was going to happen to my business because we had a couple of projects that went on hold or clients that had completely cancelled their projects so having this pregnancy and maybe a baby on the horizon was like this really amazing thing for us to celebrate and this amazing thing for us to look forward to in such a tumultuous time I actually get a little teary-eyed actually thinking about it. Yeah, because we were so excited and I, I don't want to get emotional about it because we're so excited now, but in the midst of all of this, we had this pregnancy to look forward to. And right when I was getting ready to start telling people at work and announcing it, because when you're at the 12 week mark, you're basically through the first trimester, Chris and I had our first ultrasound booked and the weekend before that ultrasound, I miscarried. And that was a horrible experience because now I was further along in my pregnancy, far enough along that we were like really celebrating it. And because I hadn't told anybody, it was just a horrible, lonely experience. And not only was it a lonely experience, but it was actually like, physically a horrible experience. I'm not gonna get into that here. If you're a woman and you're watching this and you've gone through miscarriage, I'm sure you can probably relate and I'm sure you have um, stories of your own. But it just kind of led to a little bit of like a dark time for me because I was trying to hold it together personally and keep this business going that I was so much unknown in the world. And it, it just, that year, 2020, became kind of like a chaotic year and not a fun year for me. I didn't mean to get all like depressed and, and, and stuff in this video, and that's definitely not where this is going, but I guess I'm just sharing the journey with you. Because of that miscarriage, we decided that we were going to pursue IVF for another time. And it took us a while to make that decision because it didn't seem like I was having uh, any problem getting pregnant. It was just that I was having a hard time staying pregnant. Because we tried for 
pretty much every month after that with no luck. Come the new year in 2021, we said, okay, we're gonna book an appointment and let's get this done. Come this year, 2021 in January, we had booked our first appointment and I've been really open with you as well about that. You've even come with me to an appointment for blood work. I have always been really interested in having a family. I always thought that by the time I was 40, I would have a couple of kids. It definitely has not been for lack of trying. <laughs> as much as I thought I could leave this up to nature, I'm starting to worry that that window is closing. Now I feel like is a great time, actually. I've had such a great opportunity to build my business to where it is today. I feel really good about pursuing IVF. I feel like I would regret it if I wasn't taking time out now to at least get informed and start the journey. And it was really annoying pursuing IVF this time in the middle of COVID because everything just took so much longer. Like here we were, 2021, January, ready to do this and commit. And there was such a long period of time between appointments. Everything was really staggered. Everything was just slower because of COVID. So it took us quite a while to get all of that done before we finally went in to see the IVF doctor again. And, you know, me turning 40 this year, they have to give you all of the options. In her words, she had said, you know, you're 40, your husband's even older, you guys are not getting any younger. If this is something that you want to do, I would highly recommend that we pursue this aggressively because at 40 to 41, there's such a deterioration in your like egg viability from 41 to 42, even more so. And like after 42, they almost won't even use your own eggs. I think 45 is like the cutoff. The clock is ticking, basically. It's so weird because you think your almost entire life that you've got all of this time to do this and to have a family. And you never really think that you're actually gonna cross that line or hit that wall where you're like, okay, no, there's no time left anymore. So that was like really, weird to hear and I was almost in disbelief that here we were like it's either now or never if if I want to use my own eggs it's like now or never so the next step with IVF is that you get to watch a whole bunch of videos on IVF you get to learn all about the process hormone therapy you get to learn about timing the procedure itself the risks all of it and even though I know a lot of people who have gone through IVF, I guess I've never really sat down and talked to anyone at any length about what that process looks like. But what really scared me was watching the videos. Like it's actually a pretty invasive process. Like when they go and do the egg retrieval, they put you out for the egg retrieval. And I guess, I don't know why, I just never thought about that before. So that was really the thing where I looked at Chris and we just kind of looked at each other and we were like, okay, you know what? A girlfriend has <laughs> said to me, just get her done. Seven days, do not miss a day. Figure out when you're ovulating, have sex, do it twice a day if you can and get it done, <laughs> which is exactly what we did. And it worked. Now I've talked about this before and it just seems like I just can't talk about this pregnancy without addressing the downsides in my company. And I know I've already mentioned that, but I really do feel like those two go hand in hand because when I started this video or as I started this video and I was talking about like the hustle and building the company and the stress and you know 2020 not being the greatest year for me personally. After the downsize happened I was in a place of being way calmer, way way less stress. Like I can't even explain how much of a difference it is. My husband says it all the time like it's night and day and then 
to have really surrounded myself with like great people and doing things in the evenings and the weekends that I really love. I think just all of that is the reason why I've been able to stay pregnant. And here I am like halfway through the pregnancy and so excited. I'm a believer in that you trust the timing of your life and that things really do happen when the time is right. Even going back and, you know, talking about those previous three pregnancies, I don't even think I would have, I was in the right place for, to really be able to focus on a new chapter and focus on family. So now being where I am in my career and now being where I am with my team and now being where I am with my business, so much more established, so many more systems in place, like it just feels sweeter in a way. People have asked me, do you plan on like slowing down? It's hard to answer that question now. Like you don't really know what your life is going to look like until you actually have the baby and um, I do think for a lot of people, their priorities shift. Having said that, I like have always been a working woman. I've always been a career woman and the ultimate multitasker. So I feel like I will be doing all of that with a baby on my arm and so excited to do it that way too. So in terms of slowing down, it's like, do I plan on just taking a year off or just focusing on the baby? No. Like I'll focus on the baby, yes but take a year off, no. <laughs> this has been so crazy. I'm huge already. <laughs> like I'm so, I'm so big. I can't believe how big I am at the 20 week mark. It's crazy to me how much my body has changed, but that's okay. I've been, um, you know, embracing it. It's funny, like psychologically, and I'm sure a lot of women can relate to this. You spend your entire life wanting to look a certain way, working out, you know, trying to fit into a certain size, you do it so ingrained in you that you don't even think about it anymore. And then all of a sudden when your body's transforming and you really don't have any control over it, it's just happening and you can't fit into those clothes and you can't wear those sizes anymore, or you don't look a certain way in photos or feel a certain way even in your clothes. It's really strange, it's really strange. I've tried to take out like a really good, have a really good outlook on it and be really like em embrace the journey and really, um, you know, live in the moment live in it, be present in it and not resist it because I feel like what a shame that would be. Like who knows if I'm going to have another kid. I hope to have another kid because I would love to have more than one, but who knows if that's in the cards and why wouldn't you just embrace where you're at? It's not going to be forever and I'd rather, you know, get through it and feel like I really enjoyed the days being pregnant and really lived in it and kind of relished in it rather than resisted it because who knows if you ever get to have this experience again. The first trimester, I was eating a ton. I was sick all the time. And when I say sick all the time, what I mean is the second my eyes would open in the morning to the time I would go to sleep, I felt nauseous. I didn't throw up a lot, um, but I was sick all the time. And the only thing that would help was food. That was the only thing. And specifically carbs, pasta, rice, bread, noodles, Chinese food, anything with carbs and salty meat and bacon. I would make bacon for as a snack all the time. I learned that the first, during the first trimester is when you're not only building a baby, but you're also building an organ. Like the placenta is an, a full-on organ that its only use is to serve the baby. And after birth, you don't need the organ anymore. So no wonder why you're so tired in the first trimester. I was coming home and falling asleep, but like as soon as we'd have dinner, I'd sit on the couch and be asleep. I wouldn't even help Chris 
do the dishes or anything like that. I was so tired. Now being through the first trimester, I feel really, really good. I've got like tons of energy. My food cravings have totally leveled off. I'm back onto salads, which is really great. Like just normal food. I don't feel like I'm eating a huge quantity of food. Not definitely not as much as the first trimester, but holy smokes, is my body ever changing? Like I'm still eating that much. It's pretty wild. So you're probably curious to know what the gender of the baby is. I do know it. <laughs> I do know it. I'm not going to share it in this video. I might do that in a whole nother video. My little sister who lives here, we did a little family gender reveal, which was so much fun. And she baked a cake for us and we had like just a really lovely time in the summer. Got to kind of share that surprise. It was so much fun. And I definitely, I like, I want to tell you guys so bad. Okay, I know. What if I did it wrong? Just joking. Oh my God. Oh. Oh my God. <laughs> but I'm going to save that because I'm just getting into decorating and designing the nursery. That was the whole reason why we bought the townhouse. I wanted to have a uh, room for Chris and I, and then at least one or two other bedrooms. It's the most unfinished space in my house because I don't know, it was just always intended to be a nursery. This second bedroom, I'd love this to double as a guest room and potentially a nursery, just depending on what happens in the future. Until now, I haven't been able to do it. So I'm really excited to start the nursery and I'll keep you guys updated on how that goes, of course. I'll end with just a couple thoughts because this is now turning out to be a much longer video than I was expecting. How's my routine changed since becoming pregnant? Like I said, the first trimester was really challenging and the fatigue was incredibly real. So normally I'm an early riser and in that first trimester, I just couldn't get out of bed until at least seven, if not later. So juggling work was really challenging. Now that I'm at the halfway mark, I still get up early. I don't drink coffee anymore. So I only drink tea. I sleep great right now. I definitely eat more than I used to. So that's been a big change. I pack a enormous bag. Chris packs it for me. I've always got snacks and fruit and juice boxes and little goodies and stuff like that in there because I could be finished a meal and in half an hour hunger will hit again. And then I've just been living a much like quieter, kind of more peaceful life. And that's been intentional but also really amazing like the one thing that i'm so plugged into right now is that being able to create a human is this amazing the most creative endeavor i think any woman can ever do and being in this position being pregnant now it's like no wonder why you hear about like pregnant women or new moms and they have all these amazing business ideas and you know it's just you're just in a really spiritual space in your life you're very connected to your body at least that's how I feel it's a very like intimate experience with your own body and I've been very like protective I guess of my energy for that reason I feel like it's a really kind of special time and I have been mindful to give my energy to the people that I want to give it to and share it with and not do things that are draining and it feels really good it just feels really awesome ah, I just can't say enough about how cool it is to share this with a partner and especially for me someone who's so supportive so life is life is really good and I'm really really excited and I'm looking forward to sharing more with you guys definitely can't hide it so it's here it's happening i guess that's it i just wanted to tell you my story and the journey how this all happened it didn't happen with ivf in the end so we were really lucky that way i will share the gender when the time is right stay tuned for the nursery because that will definitely be next if you have any questions about the pregnancy, even about my miscarriages, or even if you just want to share something in the comments. I love reading all of your comments, so don't be shy. Let us know if you have any comments, and I'll keep you guys updated. 
So that's it for today. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Bye for now. Crystal, this is the size <laughs> of my lunch bag. <laughs> every, every day, this is what I bring to work. But it's amazing actually, because it's got all these compartments in it. So I can bring my tea, it doesn't spill. I actually have a juice box left over from yesterday. Yeah, this, is, this has been the perfect lunch bag. It's huge. Amazing. <laughs>